All right, I have a word for you. And the word is, do not allow the enemy to use you. Just because you are going through a certain condition, a certain situation, just because hell, all hell is breaking loose in your life, does not mean you can easily, you have to easily give in to the enemy. Because that's where the enemy is waiting, to take advantage of your situation. There are a lot of people that have been really destroyed because they gave in so easily to the enemy. Remember, the battle has not been lost. You have not yet lost the battle. In fact, as a matter of fact, you are winning. It just seems as though you are losing. Do not be fooled by what is taking place in your life. That's what the enemy wants you to believe. If he can get you to believe that you have lost, then he will destroy you. So do not allow him to use your gifts into doing things that are di diabolic. Do not allow him to uh, use you to do things that you, by, by, by in your actual mind, you would never do. Things that you had vowed never to do. Activities that you thought and uh, had never thought of go getting involved in. Do not do things just for the love of money. Be spiritually minded. Ask yourself, why is that thing happening to you? And what is the source of your condition? Because God speaks. God has spoken to you about your condition. But were you able to recognize and I talked about this. You need to go back in my live stream and listen to how, uh, how to hear God's voice. How to recognize his voice. Because I talked about points that are very, very powerful. So don't allow the enemy to just use you into doing things. The scripture says that my people perish because of lack of knowledge. It is ignorance that causes many to perish. The reason as to why we have people who are so rich, the reason as to why we have billionaires in this world and others who are really poor is because of ignorance. Those that have acquired money, those that have, uh, have, uh, have seem to have made it in life, have the knowledge to make money. Knowledge is very powerful. Look at even doctors. The reason as to why they can cure uh, diseases that many things are incurable, it's because of knowledge. They have the knowledge. And with the knowledge, they put wisdom to it. It is knowledge. So do not allow the enemy to use you. To, uh, uh, do not allow tricksters to play your mind. And Jesus always was very, very prudent because he knew the word of God. When the enemy came in with the word, Jesus replied with the word. Because remember, your adversary knows the word. He has studied the scriptures. So just because somebody can quote scriptures does not mean that uh, they are for you. Does not mean that you are speaking what is right. Because some of them uh, quote the scriptures, and when they quote those scriptures, they twist the scriptures. Remember, a lie is perverted truth. And I've talked about this many times, that a lie starts out as truth. Then in the middle, the person will twist it into a lie. So at the beginning, people believe that it is the truth to an extent that he cannot uh, reject. Then he twists and makes it a lie. That's why some people have been destroyed. And that's why I tell people, even the words that I speak, sometimes I can make mistakes. It is normal for a human being to make mistakes. Scripture says, we know in part and prophesy in part. So, that's why I always tell you, go back to your scriptures. Everyone that I say, 
Go back to your scriptures. Let it be backed up. If I speak a word, if I come and speak a word, I myself, and it is not in line with the word of God, reject it. It is good for your health. It is good for your soul. It is good for your life. Always follow God's word. Now, when we come and speak to you, it has to be uh, the word that you heard, maybe a confirmation, or, or it has to align up with the word of God. Do not allow my word to be your scriptures. Do not allow the word that I speak to be the Bible for you. Go and search the scriptures for yourself. Do not allow the enemy to use you. Now, uh, the, the scriptures that I have for you is in the book of Genesis, uh, chapter 2, verse 18. And this is why some, most all the times I read the scripture, so that you may see it for yourself. So that you are not deceived by, by, by any word that people speak. And it says, The Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. I will make a helper suitable for him. Now remember, when you read Genesis, the enemy used Eve into uh, deceiving Adam. Of course, he first uh, lied, put deception in the face of Eve, and if it ate, ate the fruit, then he used it to deceive Adam. Ask yourself, why didn't the enemy, why didn't the serpent first go to Adam? Adam had the word of God. It is because Adam was not ignorant. And another thing, number two, is because Eve naturally was born as a helper. The scriptures I've, I've read to you. I will make a helper suitable for him. So Eve had that thing, had the gift of helping. She was so talented. So the enemy used it as a way. She took, he wanted to take advantage of it. So that Eve can help the serpent into deceiving Adam. And for us, we, you read the story is that uh, Eve convinces Adam and Adam is left helpless. He's left helpless because his helper has also taken the fruit. So he cannot do anything but to just give in and to take the fruit. He used Eve. Some of you, the enemy is using you to do things that you're not supposed to do, to speak words that you're not supposed to speak, to do businesses that you're not supposed to do. Do not allow the enemy to use you like that. Be in the word. The book of Joshua, God says to Joshua that uh, this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night. Why is it day and night? Why not only day? Why not only night? Because God knows that this world is full of people that are speaking, is full of things that are speaking, is full of voices. And if you are not uh, listening to the voice of God every day, then you are going to be lost. You have heard of a song that uh, one of uh, a gospel artist and musician sang, that I'm lost without you. They are saying they're lost without Jesus. And that is the truth. Without Jesus, men are lost. People are lost. People end up doing things that are not right. Some parts of the world are in chaos because of decisions that they made without the word of God. Well, I'm running out of time, but I've not run out of good news. Go ahead and like this video. Share this video with somebody else and let them know of this truth. And until next time, be blessed.